Good morning, church. This morning's scripture reading, we are reading Romans 15, verses 8 through 13. Verses 8 through 13. Where the Lord says, For I tell you that Christ became a servant to the circumcised to show God's truthfulness, in order to confirm the promises given to the patriarchs, and in order that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy, as it is written, and here he quotes Psalm 18, Therefore I will praise you among the Gentiles and sing to your name. And again it is said, Rejoice, O Gentiles, with his people. And again, praise the Lord, all you Gentiles, and let all peoples extol him. And again, Isaiah says, The root of Jesse will come, even he who arises to rule the Gentiles, in him will the Gentiles hope. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. You may be seated. See, Christ became a Jew among the Jews to confirm the prophecies of old. And he came for them, and not just for them, though, thankfully. He came for us, too, church. In fact, he came for all nations, for all peoples. The root of Jesse would crush the serpent's head. God's kingdom in time would advance beyond this small territory and beyond a particular people. Because all people bear God's image. Christ didn't come to be ministered to, but to minister in his life and in his death. Why? So that we, this morning, would glorify God for his mercy. You see, he is a good shepherd that is pursuing his sheep to the ends of the earth and to the ends of the ages. And what is the proof that Paul has that Christ has come for all? It is then that he quotes the Old Covenant scriptures. And he interprets that old covenant in light of Christ, in light of the new. You see, David is speaking of a day when he would worship God together with the Gentiles, people like you and I, so that even we this morning could have hope. And to what end? Again, so that this morning, by God's mercy, we would be filled with joy. That we this morning would be filled with hope. And that we would be filled with peace. And this is the age that we are now living in, church. So this morning, if you are missing that joy, this morning, if you are downcast and missing that hope, this morning, if you feel like your life might be chaotic and you're missing that deep-seated peace, there really is only one answer that can be offered to us this morning, church. And that is to look to Christ, the fulfillment of God's promises of old. The, prom the promise of the Father kept so that we this morning could be filled by that Holy Spirit. Church, this morning, let us praise Him for His mercy, as it says. So lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. 